grace and peace from God our Father, from the Lord Jesus Christ, from the blessed Holy Spirit who indwells every believer in the Lord Jesus because of God's matchless compassion and enduring mercy. We are alive in the house of God one more time. God be thanked and praised for his saving grace and his keeping power. And for this privilege to come into his holy presence in the house of God, that we might praise him, worship him, and share one with another. Thank God for this another privilege, this another opportunity. Amen. Thank God for his goodness, kindness, and mercy toward us. I'm going to ask the praise team for a song of praise, a hymn of praise. After which, we're going to ask Deacon Josh Robinson to read our scripture for today. Then Deacon Richard King to offer prayer, which I'm going to ask the praise team to give us another selection. Then I want to share with you the message the Lord has placed on my heart for today. God bless you. Jonah. I'll be reading the second chapter in its entirety. That's the book of Jonah. The second chapter reads as follows. Then Jonah prayed unto the Lord his God out of the fish's belly and said, I cried by reason of mine affliction unto the Lord. And he heard me out of the belly of hell cried I, and thou heardest my voice. For thou Cast, thou hast cast me into the deep, into the midst of the sea, and the floods come past me about. All thy billows and thy waves passed over me. Then I said, I am cast out of thy sight, yet I will look again toward thy holy temple. The waters come past me about, even to the soul. The deck closed me round about. The weeds were wrapped about my head. I went down to the bottoms of the mountains. The earth with her bars was about me forever. Yet hast thou brought up my life from corruption, O Lord my God. 
When my soul fainted within me, I remembered the Lord, and my prayer came in unto thee, into thy holy temple. They that observe lying vanities forsake their own mercy. But I will sacrifice unto thee with the voice of thanksgiving. I will pay that that I have vowed. Salvation is of the Lord. And the Lord spake unto the fish, and it vomited me out, Jonah, upon dry land. Right. And Amen. the Lord bless the readers, hearers, yes. doers, and keepers of his holy word. Right. Amen. 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 Let us pray. Sweet hour of prayer, sweet hour of prayer, calls us from a world of care and bids us at our Father's throne to make all of our wants and wishes known in seasons of distress and grief. Our souls often found relief, and we've oft escaped the tempter's snare by thy return. Sweet hour of prayer. Amen. Oh Lord, my God, it's once more and again a few of your born again believers in the resurrection of Jesus Christ gathered together in this house of prayer. Yes, Lord. To give you thanks and praise for the great God that you are. Yes. We thank you, dear Heavenly Father, with everything that is. Within us, you've been good to us. Thank you've you. You've been better to us than we've been to ourselves. It's not because we're good. It's not because we're perfect. It's not because we're wonderful. It's because you choose to bless us. And we thank you, dear Heavenly Father. Thank you, Lord. For thank your you. Blessings. We thank you, dear Heavenly Father, because you're sustaining us. We are in seasons of distress and grief. But we're doing fine. Praise your name. We're doing fine. Thank you, Lord. There's so many people down by the hands of faith. There's so many people need. There's so many people want it. There's so many people who know you not for the partner of their sins. What can wash away our sins? Nothing. But the blood of Jesus, what can make us whole again? Yes. Nothing. My Lord. But the blood of Jesus. My Lord. Thank you, Lord, for the blood of Jesus. There's nowhere else to turn. Dear Heavenly Father, we are asked. We have questions. We have problems that we cannot answer. There are many that we know that we pour our hearts out to you, Father God. But you know all about it. You already know. Dear Heavenly Father, we ask you to just watch over us. Have mercy, Help Lord. Us out. Have mercy, Help Lord. those of us who do know you for the pardon of our sin. That if you carry the load for somebody else to reach out and tell them, what must I do to be saved? Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for your mercy. Thank you. Thank you, Lord, for your kindness. We thank you, Lord, for your sustenance. We thank you, Lord, for all things. But most importantly, we thank you, Lord, for Jesus Christ. All can praise in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. We ask you, Lord, this service go out over TV land and the people right now. Can you hear the word? 
Hallelujah. Thank God. Amen. Amen. Amen.
Amen. Amen. Amen. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. Forget not all his benefits. Reverend Watford, our praise team, our musicians, deacons that are present today, our technicians, those persons who might be watching us from a distance. God be with you. As we praise the God of our salvation and press on toward the mark, for well, the pride of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. I sincerely believe when the praises go up, the blessings come down. Yes. Thank you, Lord. I invite your attention and consideration to the book of Jonah, the second chapter, the first and second verses. The book of Jonah, the second chapter. First and second verse, we find this record. Then Jonah prayed unto the Lord his God out of the fish's belly and said, I cried by reason of mine affliction unto the Lord. And he heard me out of the belly of hell cried I, and thou heardest my voice. I want to preach about lessons from Jonah. Lessons from Jonah. My brothers and sisters, life is a learning experience. We learn mm -hmm. as we deal with the ups and downs in life. We also learn as we experience the challenges and changes in life. Further, our relationships with God and people cause us to become more knowledgeable on the journey of life. Now, God has made it possible for us to know for whom to live and how to live. The Bible tells us in Job 32, 7, days should speak and multitude of years should teach wisdom. The word of God reveals in Romans 15, 4, for whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning, that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. My brothers and sisters, I believe everyone should be a lifetime learner. Yes, yes we learn by living. Yes. Some lessons are more difficult to learn than others. Life can be difficult and mysterious, but by the help of God, we can succeed uh, in this endeavor. In Matthew uh, chapter 11, verses 28 to 30, Jesus said, Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Yes. 
Take my yoke upon you and learn of me. For I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest under your soul. Yes. For my yoke is easy, yes. and my burden is light. Yes. In writing to the church at Philippi, the Apostle Paul declared in chapter 4, verses 11 to 13, Not that I speak in respect of want, for I have learned in yes. whatsoever state I am, therewith to be content. I know both how to be abased and I know how to abound. Everywhere in all things I am instructed both to be full and to be hungry. Both to abound and to suffer need. I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me. My brothers and sisters, there are many lessons uh, to be learned uh, from Jonah. Now the book of Jonah has been the object of discussion and controversy across the years. Some scholars contend Jonah is a fictitious person, but I believe the Bible. Do you believe the Bible? Yes. 2 Timothy 3, 16 and 17, all scripture is given by inspiration of God yes. and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. Yes. That the man of God may be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. Yes. In Matthew uh, 12, verses, verse 40, Jesus declared, For as Jonah was three days and three nights in the whale's belly, so shall the Son of Man be three days and three nights in the heart of the earth. Yes. Notice, Jonah was a Hebrew prophet. He was a servant of the Lord. He lived in Gathsepha, in Galilee, in the land of Zebulun. God honored this servant by making him a prophet. He was a spokesman for the living God. The Bible says, Now the word of the Lord came unto Jonah, the son of Amittai, saying, Arise, go to Nineveh, that great city, and cry against it, for their wickedness is come up before me. But Jonah rose up to flee unto Tarshish from the presence of the Lord and went down to Joppa. And he found a ship going to Tarshish and he paid the fare thereon and went down into the ship to go with them into Tarshish from the presence of the Lord. But the Lord sent a great wind into the sea and there was a mighty tempest in the sea so that the ship was like to be broken. Jonah thought he could flee from the presence of the Lord. But oh, my brothers and sisters, no one can flee from the presence of the Lord. Our God is omnipresent. God is everywhere at the same time. He doesn't need to go anywhere because he's everywhere. The psalmist inquired, whither shall I go from thy spirit? Or whither shall I flee from thy presence? If I ascend into heaven, Thou art there. If I make my bed in hell, yes. behold, thou art there. Yes. If I take the wings of the morning and dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea, yes. even there shall thy hand lead me, yes. and thy right hand shall hold me. Yes. No one can flee from the presence of the Lord because he's everywhere. Yes. And the Lord is needed everywhere. Yes. He's needed in my life, he's needed in your life. He's needed in America. He's needed around the world. The Lord is needed everywhere. He's a wonderful God. So the Lord sent a great wind into the sea. You see, with our humanity, the wind bloweth where it listens. We hear the sound thereof. We cannot tell whether it's going or coming. But with God, the wind blows where he directs it. The Lord is in control of this universe. Aren't you glad about that? He has all power in his hand. Not some power, not most power, but all power yes. is in his hand. The Bible says uh, the Lord sent a great wind into the sea. Yes. The mariners were afraid and cried every man to his God. But their God wasn't the true God. But Jonah was on board a, a servant of the true God. Yes. And they began to throw wares overboard, feeling that if it's not something that we have in us, Maybe it's something we have on board. 
we need to get rid of. And sometime in life, um, we come in contact with things we ought to get rid of. Some things are just not good for us. Um, some things doesn't help us. Uh, some things are not in our best interest. Yes. But Jonah was in the side of the ship fast asleep. Uh, the shipmaster came to him and inquired, What meanest thou, O sleeper? Arise, call upon thy God. If so be that God will think upon us, and we perish not. They cast lots, and the lot fell upon Jonah. This disobedient prophet was asked, What is your occupation? Whence comest thou? What is thy country? And uh, what people art thou? Jonah replied, I am a Hebrew, and I flee from the Lord, the God of heaven which made the sea and dry land. Yes. The shipmaster and the mariners threw Jonah overboard and the seas, seas ceased from raging. The Bible says uh, the Lord prepared a great fish to swallow up Jonah. Yes. Jonah was in the belly of the fish three days and three nights. Yes. In the text, Jonah was praying his way out of trouble. Uh -huh. Have you ever prayed your way out of trouble? Uh -huh. I think I'm not the only person in here who's been in trouble. And thank God I, I was able by the help of God to pray my way out of trouble. I got into trouble but I called on the God of heaven and asked the Lord help me. Lord deliver me. Lord bless me. And Lord rescue me. And the Lord came by. He blessed my life. The Lord came by and changed the situation. The Lord came by and made a way for me. The text is clear. Jonah prayed unto the Lord, his God, out of the fish's belly. God heard Jonah's prayer. Aren't you glad the Lord hears and answers prayer? In chapter 2, verse 11, we find these words, and the Lord spake unto the fish, and he vomited Jonah upon dry ground. God can speak to whom he wants to, what he wants to, when he wants to. Because he's a mighty God. Yes. The record is, uh, and the word of the Lord came unto Jonah the second time. Yes. Saying, arise, go in the Nineveh, that great city, and preach unto it the preaching that I bid thee. So Jonah arose and went into Nineveh according to the word of the Lord. Yes. Jonah declared, yet forty days, and Nineveh shall be overthrown. The people of Nineveh believed God. They fast and repented. Yes, yes. 6,000 people were saved because of the message from the Lord. Yes. What are the lessons in Jonah? Yes. What are the lessons from Jonah? Yes. The first lesson we learned that Jonah is a servant of Jehovah, the father of Jesus Christ. Yes. He healed them the true and living God. Yes, yes. He is um, the creator of the universe. Yes, yes. He is our maker, our keeper, and our redeemer. Yes. Aren't you glad about that? Oh, yeah. The Lord is keeping us even right now. Yes. God is a God of mercy and grace. Yes. He is uh, loving and forgiving. Right. He wants everyone everywhere to be saved from their sin. Yes. God told Abraham, I will bless them that bless thee yes. and curse them that curse thee. Yes. And in thee shall all families of the earth be blessed. Right. Second Peter 3, 9, the Lord is not slack concerning his promise. As some men count slackness, but is long suffering to us what? Not willing that any should perish, but all should come to repentance. The second lesson we learn from Jonah, it is right and wise to obey God. Obedience is better than a sacrifice. Yes. Jesus said, if you love me, keep my commandments. Yes. We should trust and obey God always. Yes. In good times, yes. in bad times, in sickness, yes. in health, yes. and in the storms of life. We should trust and obey God. Nineveh was the capital of the Assyrian Empire. Uh -huh. They were enemies to Israel. Yeah. Jonah did not want 
the people of Nineveh saved. Yes. Somehow he believed if the people heard what God said, yes. the message, they would repent and be saved. Yes. The third lesson we learn from Jonah is no one can run away from the presence of God. Right. Uh, I'm so glad um, God is with us. Yes. God is above us. Yes. God is around us. Yes. And God is within us. Yes. Greater is he that's in us yes. than he that's in the world. Yes. Still, uh, another valuable lesson we learn from Jonah is God we serve will give his people another chance. I'm so glad God will give us another chance. Yes. If we mess up, if we drop the ball, yes. if we go wrong, God will give us another chance. Yes. Call him, he'll give you another chance. I'm so glad he answers prayer and forgives sins. Yes. God is a good God. Yes. He's good, yes. kind, yes. merciful, and long-suffering. Yes. Yes, a storm in his life called Jonah the pray. Yeah. Prayer brings forgiveness and restoration. Prayer is the simplest definition of just talking with God. I don't know how you feel about it, but I love to talk with God every day, all during the day. I love to talk with God. Moses prayed and God divided the Red Sea. Hannah prayed, yes. and God gave her a male child. Yes. Hezekiah prayed, yes. and God healed his body. Yes. Jonah prayed, God delivered him out of the belly of the fish. Yes. We live in a world that needs God. Yes. We need him to calm the storm. Yes. We need him to heal bodies. Yes. We need him to open doors. Yes. We need him to make ways. My yes. brothers and sisters, yes. I believe in miracles. Yes. Jonah prayed. And God gave a miracle. God gave Jonah a missionary assignment. Jonah declared to deliver the message. And God saved the people. To save the people, a minute God sent Jonah with an important, urgent message. Yet 40 days, and then it shall be overthrown. The people believed, and repented, and God saved them. Aren't you glad the Lord saved them? Long time ago, yes. the Lord saved me. Uh, did the Lord save you uh, yes. from the miserable life of sin? Uh, I'm so glad God sent Jonah to Nineveh. But most of all, I'm glad God sent Jesus Christ yes. to save this lost world. When the fullness of the time was come, uh, God sent forth his son, uh, made of a woman, made under the law. To redeem them that were under the law, yes. that we might receive adoption as son. Uh, Jesus came Jesus. to this sinful world. Yes. He was birthed by Mary, yes. seen by the shepherds, um, worshipped by the wise men, um, yes. and reared by Joseph. Jesus yes. demonstrated love and compassion. I'm so glad yes. he saved lost souls, yes. uh, changed lives, uh, he healed the sick, yes. and raised the dead. Um, yes. He preached in Judea yeah. and Galilee. Yeah. At Nain, uh, he raised the son of the widow from the dead. Uh, in Capernaum, uh, he cast out demons. Uh, but uh, most of all, I'm glad yeah. that on Calvary, uh -huh. he suffered, uh, bled and died. Uh, yes, on Friday, he yeah. died. Yeah. But on Sunday morning, yeah. he rose yeah. with all power Thank in his hand. Uh, yeah. I've learned the lesson. Thank I've learned God will answer prayer. Yes, I've learned yes. God will heal your body. Yes. I've learned yes. God will bring you out of trouble. Yes. I've learned God will make a way out of no way. Yes. Is you all right? Yes. All right? Yes. Can you say yes? Yes. Yes, yes. 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 it's all right. Yes. I've learned. Yes. He'll stand by you yes. when you're going to get yes. tough. Yes. I've learned yes. he'll be there. In the best of times and the worst of times. I've been learned yes. God will take you through. Yes. Well, if you heard this message Thank you, Thank you. and you want to make a decision about Thank Jesus you, Christ, I you. urge you today to accept him by faith in your heart and into your life, you, knowing he is the son of God, the savior of the world, the hope of the lost, yes. and the head of the church.
He is a coming king. And I thank God uh, if you ask him to forgive you of your sins, yeah. he will do it. He'll give you a brand new start. He'll save your soul. He'll adopt you into the family of God. He'll write your name down the Lamb's book of life. He'll make you a new creature that you might walk in the newness of life. The invitation is extended. Will you make a decision today? Watford to dismiss Amen. us. Amen. Amen. Thank the Lord for the word. Amen. 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 Thank God for the word of God. Thank God. As we all stand to be dismissed today, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Yeah.